Welcome to the Content Creator Tech Channel. Um, I'm going to talk about the Z590 Asus motherboard and how to connect your M.2 drives if you're having issues. Let's get into it. I'm here. I'm going to show you how my Z590 uh, Asus board, um, how to post your um, your two uh, well, your M.2 drives. Um, I had an issue with my Samsung M.2 drives early on. Uh, I'm re-recording this because at the time, you know, it was like all over the place. I had just got my uh, PC built. And um, I didn't even have an operating system, so um, I since uh, had my system overclocked, and I ran into the same issue, and I just repeated this process, and my my two M.2 drives showed up. So um, here we go. So this is your um, this is your main screen um, here. If I go to my uh, uh, easy mode um, screen, you see that my storage information right here. There's no M.2 drives. It has my um, my backup drive that I have um, plugged into my uh, USB port, but no no M.2 drives. So let's let's go ahead and take a look. I'm hitting my F7 button here. It's an advanced mode. You know, just hit my F7 button. I'm going to go to advanced section right here. I'm going to scroll all the way down until I see onboard device configuration. Onboard device configuration. Scroll all the way down. And I see here my CPU PCI configuration mode. I have three PCI slots. So... Uh, these two are right now defaulted to its default, which is uh, uh, these two lanes. Here, I have two M.2 drives, so I'm going to select the bottom one here. It has M.1, uh, M.2-1 and M.2-2 for the uh, for the two uh, M.2 drives that I have installed. They have other ways. Um, they have uh, one that looks like a RAM that you probably wouldn't have to do this. Um, but if you have yours in your M.2 drive, this is what you want to select. If you have two, if you have one, you probably want to select this one here. So you just have the one slot uh, selected. So I'm going to select the two down here at the bottom. And then I'm going to hit F10 because I want to save. And I want to reset. I'm going to click OK. And my system's going to reboot. OK, now that you smash the delete button until your BIOS popped back up to your finger fell off, we're back on this screen here. So um, I'm going to go to easy mode. Boom, and there's my M.2 drives. So again, everybody asked if uh, if it um, if it worked. Uh, let me zoom out a little bit. Everybody asked me if it worked. There they are. They're my Samsung uh, 970 Evo Plus M.2 drives. I have two of them, one terabyte and two terabyte, and they pop right up. Um, so this is uh, this is your fix. Um, again, um, I have a 10th gen. On the um, Z590s, they were saying the 11th gen was supposed to just populate automatically. This, If they're not populating automatically, this is how you fix that issue. Thank you for stopping by the channel. If you like the content, put the thumbs up button. If this helped you, put the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll talk to you soon.